Dear Chairwoman, dear colleagues, this is an extremely important issue. And uh, I think that we are doing the right uh, decision that now we are discussing in current debates this topic. Uh, Ukraine is suffering a lot from the terrorism. Two days ago, in the center of Kiev, was exploded the car with Ukrainian Colonel Shapoval, who was killed. Yesterday, one more explosion in the eastern part of Ukraine, where another colonel of Ukrainian special forces was killed. And uh, this is happening all the time. My native Odessa city, we have uh, several number of attacks against our city, explosions, and uh, we are sure that what is happening now, that terrorism is getting new forms. Yes, we all know about the individual terrorism. We all know about the group, radical groups terrorism. But now, in Europe and in the world, we have regime terrorists. I am speaking about regime of Vladimir Putin. Today, Mr. Putin is terrorist number one in the world because he organized the regime which is killing people all over the world. He explodes people, he is killing people on the streets, but not only this. After the hybrid war that Russian Federation started against the whole Western world and Ukraine is the first and main victim for the moment, just for the moment, but I can assure you that there are further plans. Uh, after this hybrid war, Russia is now providing hybrid terrorism. What is it? I told you about explosions, about killings, you know all of this. But I want to tell you what is going on in Syria, in Aleppo, where hundreds of people were killed by Russian aircrafts. And the result of this was a huge wave of migration to, the, to Europe, which caused a very big n number of problems in all countries, member states of the Council of Europe. And now, next, three days ago, Ukraine became the first, but not the last, target of kyber attack. Now Poland, Estonia, Lithuania, Latvia, all countries of Europe are suffering from huge kyber attack, which tries to be, to be very effective against the systems uh, which are important for people about electricity, about banking system, and now this computer virus, but now this cyber attack is uh, on the way. And in these days, we should tell that in our countries, we all face very big problem. Not just terrorism, which we saw 10 years ago, 20 years ago, but new forms of terrorism. And we, as countries, members of the Council of Europe, should react on this, should find the solution which will help our countries to face these extremely difficult tackles. Thank you very much, and I think that this issue is so important that we need to speak on it each session of the parliamentary assembly of the Council of Europe. Thank you.